Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be learning to navigate the viewport in Unity. To get started, we need something to help us visualize what we're doing. So we're going to come up to Game Object, 3D Object, and we're going to select Cube. This will put a cube on our scene. We'll go over more 3D objects in future videos. So to get started, I want to talk about the mouse controls. Left mouse button will let you select and deselect objects. And if you hold down left mouse button and drag out, everything within this rectangle will be selected. Middle mouse button will let you pan the camera. Right mouse button will let you orbit around your camera. Basically a free form. Scrolling middle mouse will let you zoom in and out. And just the same if you hold down alt on the keyboard and use right mouse, you can zoom in and out as well. Now while still holding down Alt on the keyboard and holding down left mouse button, you can rotate around the last selected object. Next, I want to talk about flying around the scene. While holding down right mouse button and pressing any combination of Q, W, E, A, S, D, you can fly around the scene in many different directions. W will take you forward, S will take you back, A will go left, D will go right, Q will bring you down, and E will bring you up. Now if you combine these with looking around with the right mouse button, you can get a lot more range of motion. There's also two ways that you can adjust the sensitivity or the speed of flying around with those controls. So while you're flying around, if you hold down shift and move, you'll notice that it goes a lot faster. The second way, if you come up to this toolbar, You'll see this camera and this drop down. You can come down to camera speed and you can adjust it. Next, let's talk about the 2D viewport. Now, the controls in here are very similar to the 3D viewport, but they're a lot simpler. Left mouse button will let you select and deselect, and it still has the drag select. Middle mouse will let you pan, and scrolling middle mouse will let you zoom in and out. Before moving on, I recommend practicing the navigation in each of the viewports. If you do feel comfortable, you can customize some of the keyboard shortcuts. You can do that by going up to Edit and going all the way down to Shortcuts. If you're mainly interested in changing the viewport keyboard shortcuts, you want to go to 3D Viewport. All right, once again, I recommend getting used to the navigation in the viewports. And if you feel comfortable, you can come in here and you can change the shortcuts on your keyboard. In the next video, we're going to go over working in the viewports. If you guys thought this video was helpful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.